Hey, what's up guys? This is Marcos. And today we're going to take a look at how to clear up space in your external hard drives and in your memory cards. And if you've ever experienced this, sometimes you're trying to record uh, or transfer footage into your hard drives and it tells you that the space is full and then you look, go look at the settings and the information inside those folders. And it seems there should be more space. What you don't know is that sometimes there's hidden files, um, things that you deleted in the past and the, those are still stored in a hidden trash can. So I'm gonna show you on, on the Mac how to delete those files. Um, I know that in the past, I've uh, formatted cards uh, because the space is, is filled, but using this technique, I no longer have to format uh, memory cards. Um, otherwise, sometimes it's, 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 I guess it's useful, but uh, with external hard drives, it's, it is better not to format them. I'm going to show you right now what I have here in my desktop. I have this, um, well, this is one drive, but uh, I created uh, two partitions. And here's one of them. And if you if we look at the uh, at these two files, we look at the information. It tells us one is 1.8 gigabytes and the other one is 2.7 gigabytes. Now, theoretically, if we delete these two files, it should clear up that space in in this partition in this hard drive. Let's just consider this uh, its own hard drive. If we look at the information. It's a 50 gigabyte drive and it, it's telling us it's uh, there's 45.5 gigabytes available of space right now. Um, so you can see that about 4.5 of those gigabytes are taken up, taken up by these two files. So let's delete them and let's see what happens. Okay, let's close the info. So there's nothing in this hard drive. So theoretically, now we should have 50 gigabytes of, of hard drive space. Let's get the info again. Ah, you see, you see, we still have 4.5 gigabytes taken up. So where are those files if they're not here? Well, there's a simple shortcut. If you uh, on your if you have a Mac, considering if you have a Mar my Mac computer, you click on Command Shift Period it will show you hidden files. And one of those files is this uh, .trashes uh, folder. And if you look inside here, you'll see that there's three files. These two being the ones I just deleted. And these are taking up space in my hard drive and, and they're totally hidden from me. As you can see there, it's 4.49 gigabytes in the trash. So I think the best thing to do is to if we delete them, let's see, right click. Um, there's a trash. How about if we delete this? Here's our first problem. There's no move to trash or anything like that. Why is that? I don't know. So this is the problem with trying to go this route. Let's see. Oh, how about if we move this folder to trash? I can't. So that hasn't worked for me. I've, I tried this route and it didn't work. Um, hopefully some of you know how to get around this because um, this is something I have to look into. So this is an external hard drive. It's not letting me delete the, the files in the trash, but let's see if we can do that with a memory card. Hopefully we can move uh, those files, completely delete them from the trash. And here we have an empty button, empty trash. Let's look at the info again. Okay, there we go. It cleared up space. Now those files are completely gone, even from the trash can that's been hidden from us. So it worked with the SD card and it didn't work with this hard drive. Let's look at it again. Maybe I missed that empty button. Huh, and that's not now it's not showing it to us. How weird. Let's look at the information again. Ah, huh, it cleared up space now. Somehow when I went 
to the trashes on this folder it had the empty but it also emptied the trash on my on my lazy lazy there's different names people name them la lazy 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 a i don't know uh so that's weird that that's one way of doing it the other way i've done it in the past i have this app on my computer called daisy disk this is also very helpful this is the way i've done it and what you can do is scan these files and uh see if there's any trashes and you see the only thing right now since it's already been cleared is this uh 32.8 kilobytes and you can move this over and delete that trash the trash uh, folder and it'll do it for you so i really like this um app called daisy disk and i want to show you how it works so let's try another memory card okay so here we have this sd card i use this to record audio into my h1 and as we can see here there's some files in the trash can I can go ahead and empty it here like I've done before, but this time I'm going to use Daisy disk. Where is it? Right here. And I'm going to scan this H1 card. And as you can see here, the files that are available, the dot trashes is the one taking up most of the space, 2.5 gigabytes. And what I can do is just drag this trash over down here. I'm going to drop it. And it's going to ask me if I want to delete it. And I say yes. Okay. And it's deleting it for us. And this is usually how I delete folders off of my hard drive, my SD cards and my computer. Because sometimes there's huge files that I'm not aware of. And that's how I've been able to clear away space. So Daisy Disk is great for that. Sometimes you just have to gauge whether it's easier just to format the card. But... If you can stay away from formatting hard drives, I, I just don't trust it. And sometimes I can't format them because I have a bunch of information. So the best route for me is to try to delete all of those hidden files, the, the files that have been in the trash that I've deleted. So um, go ahead and try Daisy Disk and a combination of both. And, you know, it's weird. I don't fully understand it, but. You got to find a way to get those things out of the trash. Let me know if you have any questions or if you know of any better ways. This is the way I've been doing it. And as you can see, I'm still trying to find the best solution. And this is what I've figured out so far. But if I'm struggling with it, I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who struggle with the same thing. And this is something we need to become aware of. All right. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.